Right, end game, Master Titan time. I'm going to deploy portable shields that are going to be indestructible safe havens for you and your teammates. You can even stop yourself getting damaged against these light bearers in the GM Strike Light Blade. Absolute immunity, and these bubbles have an absolute load of health. Edge of Action is a Titan Exotic Glaive. It's a hybrid melee ranged pearl arm with frontal shield, 55 rounds per minute. Void. It's got the perk on there, Remote Shield. When weapon energy is full, consume it before firing to make your next shot deploy a portable shield on impact. These actually have more health than the actual Ward of Dawn. These little beauties are absolutely indestructible. They have so much health. Now these, this exotic glaive pairs absolutely wonderfully with the Helm of Saint 14 exotic helmet because every time a target passes through your Ward of Dawn, it is going to blind them and it also gives you and your teammates a nice overshield but the beautiful thing with this the exotic glaive the edge of action once you pop your uh, ward of dawn or your little mini bubble from this glaive the exotic trait the helm of saint 14 exotic buff the blinding and the overshield actually applies to the bubble as well so anything that comes in there going to get blinded just like you would as if you'd popped your ward of dawn with the helm of saint 14 and you get a nice crispy overshield while you're in there as well. So he's going to blind everything that comes in there. So you can use these across certain areas of the field. Uh, whether you want to protect your teammates or just protect yourself. Get a nice overshield. Blind everything that goes in there. And then as a backup you've also got your Titan Bubble as well. Your Ward of Dawn. So I really enjoy just plonking bubbles and little these little mini bubbles around across the map for me and my teammates. Little safe havens, I always call these safe havens. So they're just like little areas your teammates can just pass in, take a little braver, get some health back, get a nice overshield, knowing that they're pretty safe and it's a really good little pairing. So these are the situations where I like to use them. If you see my friend here, I know he's going in for a finisher. I'm just going to pop that shield down there so if he does get into trouble he can just pop in and out of there get his overshield, anything that goes in there is going to get blinded uh, and then on the top of that again you've got your Ward of Dawn just giving your teammates that extra 25% damage boost but I don't just want to focus it all around the Glaive and the Bubble I'm going to do some damage as well with Vortex Grenade these grenades are absolutely awesome paired with Echo of Expulsion going to make all your targets explode with Void Abilities and then because the Vortex Grenade is so strong on the Titan we can run uh, the other fragment as well, Echo of Undermining, to make your void grenades weaken targets. We've got other stuff going on, controlled demolition as well, so we're going to get loads of volatile explosions. Perfect example of that grenade now, does plenty of damage, applies a debuff to your teammates as well, 15%, so you're going to do loads of damage with your grenades. Have two portable shields for safe havens, an ultimate support little build, just like so, so you can do plenty of damage with this as well. I have got more stuff to show you on where and when we can pop these portable shields as well to make our end game stuff a lot easier, dungeons and things like that. I've got loads of little things to show you as we go. But Echo of Leeching is just one other little fragment I just wanted to show you. Melee Final Blast uh, Health Regeneration. This actually works for Glaives and your teammates. So you'll see my health here. I get a kill with that Glaive and that's going to start my health regen. And that does work for your teammates as well. So another little option I just wanted to show you. And then on top of that, like you saw earlier in the clips, once in this particular GM here, like when these pop the supers, we usually leg it, we usually run. We're running around the map, headless chickens. But if you've got one of these here, you are absolutely immune. You can just sit here and wait until that super is gone, knowing you can't take any damage. But you can also use these aggressively as well. So what I'm going to do here is just pop that and I'm going to wait for him to come to me. Then once he comes to me, I'm going to pop my void grenade on him. Knowing I'm safe again in here with my nice silver shield. I'm going to pop my grenade on him and I'm going to use it aggressively and finish him off with a rocket launcher in a minute. So you can, maybe if you've got a, a legendary sword on or something like that. Or one of your teammates has got a heavy sword on, lament something like that. They can maybe get in there, smash him while he's sort of around that bubble to keep that over shield. But you can use it aggressively as well. And on top of that, you can also use it defensively. Obviously, that is sort of the main purpose of the video, but getting revives is really, really nice as well. You get in bad situations in this GM. It's a GM, it's really sort of tricky in the boss room. Things happen, but you've got your, again, your sort of Titan bubble, bubbles to get your teammates up, whether it's your Ward of Dawn or your mini uh, Glaive exotic trait bubble. 
using it in the ghost of the deep dungeon is, is really good as well for the deep sight cover that deep sight let your teammates get that deep sight i've got some more clips to show you of that but for now i just want to quickly go over a couple of my aspects control demolition whenever you hit a target with one of your void abilities it's going to make them volatile so if any further damage is also going to make them explode it gives you and your teammates health so that's a really good one with the vortex grenade the echo of expulsion uh, bastion whenever you cast your super it's going to grant an overshield on top of the overshield you get when you pass through it or your barricade is going to give you an overshield so bastion and controlled demolition is a really nice little pairing just to top up that support sort of style where you're going to give your teammates even more overshield whenever you cast your barricade so things like this you know you've got your nice sort of safe haven again in that middle zone there for dunking your deep sight and you've just literally got like all these little safe spots you can create everywhere Another sort of good situation is probably all been here within the Ghost of the Dungeon at the DPS phase. The well's just about to run out. You've still got maybe like 7 or 8 seconds of DPS. You can just bang one of these portable shields behind. And you've just got, again, another little safe area for you and your teammates after the well's run out. Now, Bungie did announce uh, in the TWID, the This Week in Destiny, on Thursday that Exotic Glaives are going to get a huge buff in the next coming season. So keep an eye out for builds like this, they're going to be even better. But a couple of other things just to show you before we wrap the video up that are quite important. Uh, in the seasonal uh, artifact this season, I'm also running Unto the Breach, defeating a Void debuff target, creates a Void Breach whenever your Void subclass is equipped. And then I've got Protective Breach, every time you pick one of these Void Breach up, it's going to give you an Overshield or refresh your existing Overshield. And I'm also running Supernova. Whenever you pick up a Void Breach, your next shot from Void Abilities or Void Weapons is going to create a Weakening Pulse. So this is just a quick example. You've got all the uh, sort of overshields from whatever you've seen up to now. Your Bastion and your Portable Shields. And just picking up them Void Shields is going to give you another... Uh, void Breaches, sorry, is going to pick you, give you another Overshield as well. Plus Weakening Effects. So what I've done with this build is I've just built it into Grenades because I want to keep that... Weakening effect up for the pulses and the until the breach. So double grenade kickstart and then focusing strike. It's going to give you plenty of grenade energy so you can keep weakening enemies consistently as well. Then on my legs I've chose to go for innovation times two. Two of them for grenade cooldowns and I'm also running recuperation to get health every time I pick up an orb as well. But yeah, that is pretty much the video. I'm going to leave the build playing out. Uh, it's just other basic stuff like Void Siphon, Kinetic Siphon on my helmet for orbs and then Bomber and Repair on my legs. But I will leave the, on my class item, sorry, but I will leave the video playing out like so. So you can just pause this. I'll also leave the mods, what I'm running, and a screenshot on my armor setup as well. And I'll also leave a dim link in the video description. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this build. Have a great day.